a motor boat is moving with a constant velocity v0 and then engine is shut down it's given that resistance of the water is proportional to the velocity itself we need to find how long the motor boat moved until it stops the velocity of motor boat as a function of distance the total distance covered by the boat and the mean velocity of the boat from during which its velocity decreases eta times so let's find one by one each values so force is given as a function of v so let's write it is in the form of v dv by dx and of course dv by dt so this will give the relation between velocity and time and this will give the relation between velocity and distance so integrating this we get this and integrating this we get this so this is velocity as a function of time this is velocity as a function of distance which we wanted in part a and b so in part a how long it moves total time so when it stops velocity will be zero so in one if you put v is equal to zero that means t is equal to infinity so it will eventually stop at infinite time and in b part the velocity as a function of distance so that we already figured out and then total distance covered so at finally when when it stops then v becomes zero which means v not is equal to r x by m and that gives x equal to m v not by r so this is the distance traveled by the motor boat overall finally mean velocity so that is distance traveled by time so x by t so we need to find that during which the velocity decreases eta times so we need to find x by t at v is equal to v not by eta so x we have already found as a function of v so we'll just put the value of x as a function of v and put the value of v not by eta here and the time it takes for velocity to become v not by eta that we'll find from here so we'll put v not by eta here and from here we'll get the time so this value of time we'll put from this equation so basically from 1 and 2 we are putting the values of x and t when velocity is v not by eta so that will give our answer this is the mean velocity